Can I help you? Help! Help! Somebody kill Mrs. Clarendon! We can handle 300 for three days, 150 for a week. If what I'm hearing on the radio is right, we may have to. Put your hands together. What's your name? Andre Linoge. We got word that there's been a murder on the island. Old Martha Clarendon. I know this goes against your grain, but you're gonna have to let me handle this. Ralphie? Hi, hi, hi. Stop. 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 Put him down! Or? Matthias, this is Little Tall. We have a police emergency here. Do you read, uh, Matthias? Uh, come on back. somehow did you make him write that note hang himself did you evening sessions now it's sort of fun When they all finally fall asleep, I intend to track down the nearest alcoholic beverage and make it disappear. <laughs> just, just, just went out to use the can. And if you can get myself a fresh cup of coffee, we'll see it was fine back then. Oh, God. Hey. Hey. He was looking at him. Like a snake looking at a bird. He, what did he, you do to him? Do you want to see? Hey, look, you guys! Hooray! I want to be next. Is it your turn, Donnie? All right. Donnie? Want one of these? Yeah. Lloyd Wishman's dead! Anderson. Lloyd killed himself. He chopped his face right into with a match. God, it's awful. There's blood everywhere. Wait, wait. Patch, help me get him down. Uh, I don't know if I can do that. Patch, you can. Let me out and I'll help you, Michael Anderson. Okay. God, it's awful. It's... Robbie, Robbie, Robbie. Lloyd, Lloyd, he, 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 he knocked his own brains right out and, and he wrote something on the side of the pump. Get a hold of yourself, Fred. Get a damn grip. Why would Lloyd cut his head in two, Robbie? 
he was going to get married come spring. <laughs> Peter Godso. I recognize the boots. Ursula, say again. Say again, please, and go slow. The antenna snapped off. I can barely pick you up. Now, what's your emergency? Over. All right, Hatch. Go out and see if you can raise her on the island services CB. Find out what her problem is, then come right back. Hey, sure you're gonna be okay. Locked up, isn't he? Mike, do you have any idea what's going on here? What in God's name is happening? Are you there? Can't you get him? Wind's knocked the damned antennas over. Uh, Salah, this is Hatch. Uh, do you read me? Come back. I'm here. I read you. Are you getting me Alton Hatcher? Uh, you're breaking up some, but uh, it's better than it was before. What's the uh, problem? Fred Andrews says Lloyd Wishman has killed himself over at the firehouse. Now, Robbie Beals and Henry Bright have gone over there to investigate, Robbie says. Oh, God, what? And you let them go there? Come back? There was no way to stop Robbie. He practically shanghaied my husband, and there could be somebody down there. Where's Mike? I want to talk to Mike. Well, I'm calling from the truck. Uh, Mike's inside with the man who... Well, with the prisoner. Well, you just have to send him down there. Uh, well, we've got a little bit of a situation over here. Come back. Is Mike all right? Hatch, you come back and you tell me. Uh, he's fine, Ma. That's a big 10-4. Um... Uh, I've got to go. I, I'll uh, pass on the message. Uh, this is Island Service. Out. Somebody's got to take charge, and we happen to be the ones on the scene now. Come on.
go over there. Ursula said Lloyd Wishman's dead over at the firehouse. Dead? What about Ferd? Ferd's the one who found him. He said it was suicide. I think Ursula is afraid it might be murder. Mike, uh, Robbie uh, Beals took Henry Bright over there to investigate, I guess. Road's still passable, what do you think? On a four-wheel drive, yeah. Probably till midnight after that. All right, take Kurt. Go on over to the fire station. Uh, keep your eyes open. Be careful. Find Robbie and Henry. Lock the place up and bring him back here. Yeah. We can keep an eye on our new pal while you do that, can't we, Jack? Uh, I, I don't know if that's such a good idea. Yeah, well, maybe not, but right now it's the only idea. Sorry, but that's the way it is. Okay.
off, give us a little of the space here. If we hear anything, we'll let you know. Move back. Go on, move back. You don't have anything else to do. Go on downstairs and watch the storm on the weather network. You're weak, but I've got your hatch. Talk slow and loud. Come back on. Robbie and Henry are fine. Just thought you might want to know that. Come back. Is Lloyd Wishman really dead, Hatch? Uh, Usla, I don't have all the details on that yet. Uh, just tell Sandy and Carla that uh, their boys will be a while longer. Might put them over at the store for a little bit. Come back. Why the store? Is that man locked up? You boys be careful. Uh, that's all I can't hear you. You're breaking up. I'll have to try it back a little bit later. Uh, this is island service out. Hell, I don't know what to tell her. Let Mike tell her. That's his job. That's what they pay him for. Yeah. Where's your cane? You had a cane. I know you do. Where is it? Sir, how did you get to Little Tall Island? Give me what I want, and I'll go away. I saw that. At Martha Clarendon's house. Did you write that? You did, didn't you? And just, what is it you want, sir? Andre Lanoge. I take it you're French. Got a lot of people of French descent on the island. What happened with Peter Godzo? You have something to do with that? And how do you happen to know he was running pot out of his warehouse, always assuming he was? I know a lot, Constable. I know, for instance, that when you were at the University of Maine and in danger of losing your scholarship over a D in chemistry during your sophomore year, you cheated on the midterm exam. Not even your wife knows that, does she? I don't know where you get your information, but you are dead wrong on that one. I'm sure that over the years you've convinced yourself that's the truth. But right now, we both know better. You ought to tell Ralphie sometime. It would make a nice bedtime story, I think. How Daddy got through college. You never cheated on an exam in college, did you, Jack? Never went to college. Nobody bothers you for pulling D's in high school. They still put you in jail for assault, though, if you get caught. You were lucky last year. You and Lucian Fournier and Alex Haber. Lucky boys. Shut up. That fella just rubbed you guys the wrong way, didn't he? Had kind of a lisp, and that blonde hair, curly like a girl's hair, not to mention the way he walked, still three against one. Pool cues. Well, hardly sporting. I'm warning you, mister. The kid lost an eye. How about that, huh? You can go and see for yourself. He lives in Lewiston. He wears a paisley eye patch his sister made him. He lies awake at night and listens to the cars on Lisbon Street and the live bands from the bottle clubs and prays to St. Andrew to bring back the sight in his left eye. Still, he had that swishy way of walking and that lisp. And you guys kind of liked the way his hair looked all around his face like it was. Although you'd never say it to each other, would you? Kind of turned you on. All right, that's enough. Kind of made you wonder what it might feel like to run your hands through it. If you no. shut up, mister, I'll shut you up, I swear! Jack, take it easy. Take it easy. There's another bedtime story for a stormy night. I can see you in bed with your arm around your little boy saying, Buster, Daddy wants to tell you how he put the nasty queer man's eye out with the All end right, of now, the that's pool. Shut up. inches to the left, I'm dead. He's laughing. 
here. Mike. Mike. Mike, no. Hatch. Mike, about what that guy said. It's all right. We dragged him over, Mike. All right. What's going on here? Robbie, I wish I knew. all night long we'll still be safe down here in the basement is daddy safe yeah yeah as safe as can be he might let the bad man get out and hurt us will he no no i promise a little scratch. My daddy puts me to bed, not you. Donnie. My daddy, not you. Hey. I want you to go upstairs right now and you wait for your daddy. Now. I'm sorry, Molly. I guess I thought he was ready, but he's used to having his dad tuck him in. It's fine. It's probably better that he stays up. I think Buster is still running around upstairs. They can play tag and fall asleep in a corner somewhere. As long as he didn't disturb anybody. Nah. They're out like lights. I worry about Donnie sometimes. I mean, I love him, but I, I worry about him, too. Danny, they all go through stages. I mean, Don may have his unlovely moments now, but in the end, he'll be fine. I'm going to leave Robbie in the spring. I'm going to take Donnie and go back to my folks on Deer Isle. <laughs> I didn't think I'd made up my mind for sure, but I guess I have. <laughs> oh, Sandy. Going to help Billy? Yes, ma'am. See if there's any oatmeal on the very back shelf. And tell Billy to remember the juice. Oh, I imagine he don't have any problem in the juice department, does he? talk to you yeah I guess why not Billy I just sure what he said let's talk about that did you go up dairy 
have an abortion? I guess that's all the talk we need, isn't it? I guess that says it all. Well, don't you want to know why? Not particularly, no. It was our baby, and now it's dead, I guess. Really, that's all I need to know. All right, so you asked me one. Now, I'll ask you one. What about Jenna Freeman? What about Jenna Freeman? Why do you ask about something that you already know the answer to, Kat? Maybe to wipe that little minister look off your face. Yeah, I knew! The biggest trump on the coast, and you chasing her like she's on fire, and you want to put her out. It wasn't like that at all. Then what was it like? Billy, tell me. You know, I, I don't understand it, Billy. You know, I never told you no. Never once did I tell you no. And still. God, Billy, how many times did I do you, witch? What about the baby? The one I had to hear about from a complete stranger and in front of half the town. I knew who you were running with, Billy. Don't you get that? I mean, how was I supposed to trust you to do the right thing? I mean, how was I supposed to trust you at all? Do you know what it's like to find out that you're pregnant one week and that your boyfriend is spending his afternoons with the town pump the next? Hey, that baby was half mine. And you decided to go up to Derry, and you murdered it, and it was half mine, Kat. Yes, yeah, sure. Now that it's gone, it's half yours. Come back, Machias. Come back. Mike. What is that supposed to mean? It means that I'm not stupid. I mean... I know what you would have thought if I had come to you while you're still chasing after Jenna. Little bitch just got herself pregnant so I wouldn't get away. So now you've done a whole lot of my thinking for me too now, huh? You obviously haven't been doing much for yourself these days. What about the baby? The one that you murdered? How much thinking did you do for a baby, cat? Why don't you do us both a favor and get out of here? Just go. I'm really tired of listening to you. What's he doing? Oh, you know what? Dear God. You're unfaithful and that's bad. But you're a coward and that's worse. Too chicken to own up to the part of this that belongs to you. You know, I came in here because I, I thought that maybe I could save us. But there's nothing to save. You're just a stupid kid after all. What are you doing, sir? You mind telling me?
کنوش Slipping off. No, thanks, Annie. You can keep them. Those things I always end up falling asleep listening to Schubert on my fillings anyway. Uh, why don't you give Johnny a hand, Johnny? What are they saying? Howl and blast, followed by blast and howl. Such conditions to continue through tomorrow and into tomorrow night when finally things are supposed to start quieting down. Power's out from Kittery to Millinocket. Coastal communities are cut off. This island, guys. Forget it. So what's the matter? I don't know. I, I just got a feeling. Really bad one. Yeah, who doesn't? Martha Clarendon's murdered. Lloyd Wishman kills himself. Storm this entry right over our heads. Who doesn't have a bad feeling? I think it's more than that. the wind it sounded like a scream that's what the wind sounds like tonight dear cat didn't come back did she no not this way i imagine they had things to discuss joanna my mother always used to say peep not at a keyhole lest you be vexed it sounded like a scream oh god Find that ridiculous. Mother, shut up! When I get these feelings, I trust them. Over the years, I've learned to trust them. Molly, I think something's happened to Peter. Why? Someone come back from the store? Is Mike's no, no, nobody's come in from that end of town since 8 o'clock. But Mike's all right. There's nothing psychic about that part of it. 
I picked up a couple of broken transmissions on the radio. Once it was Hatch, and once I'm pretty sure it was Mike. Saying what? Talking to who? With the antennas blown down, it's impossible to tell. Base unit to base unit, it's just voices. I imagine they're still trying to raise the status of Machias. So you haven't heard from Peter, so you, no, you can't know no, what's going no, Somehow I do. I do, I know it. There's a state of snow emergency. Molly, if I can get Lucian Fournier to stop fiddling with that TV and take me down to the constables on a snow machine, can you mind things here? Unless the roof falls in, all it amounts to is saying that everything is fine and breakfast is at seven. We still need folks on the serving crew and to clean up after. The work's mostly done for tonight, thank God. People have already started going to bed. Okay. All right, just, uh... Do me a favor, give a message to Mike. Tell him to set a guard. There are plenty of men who have nothing to do tonight. Have him set a guard and get back here. Tell him his wife wants to see him. I'll give him that message. I will. Hi. people to see him like this, so I covered him up. You all right there, Molly? I'm fine. This is going to be one to tell your grandchildren about. Already is. I covered him up because I loved him. I think it was the cane with the wolf's head that made me do it. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. I loved him, and now look, I went and killed him. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is my handle. Here is my spout. Oh my God. like that in my life no id of any kind no id no money no wallet no keys no nothing just no clothing tags even not even on his blue jeans it's just it's just here and that's not all did he say anything to you robbie when you went to Martha's house, did he say anything that that he had no business knowing about? 
Robbie. He did, didn't he? He said something about my mother. You don't need to know. I don't think he's human. Neither do I. I don't know what he is. head on the top and it was covered in blood I got the idea that's what he used to, to where's your cane sir where is it now what is it you want hey, somebody's pulling up okay. we didn't take him from Martha's did we he let himself be taken maybe he wanted to be taken business always has been, always will be. Dolores Claiborne, whatever she did with her husband during the eclipse, Peter Godso and his, his marijuana. We'd know. I'm just saying we could. Oh, don't tell me that idea hasn't gone through your mind, Michael Anderson. I don't know as you're supposed to do that, Mrs. Hatcher. That's evidence or something. Katrina, have a little broth. they will warm you up. You ought to spike that with rat poison, Mrs. Kingsbury. And a warm up, all right. <laughs> Captain Bell, you shut up your ignorant mouth. If you're treating her like she saved his damn life instead of sneaking up behind him and bashing his brains in. All right, everybody, out of here. This is not a sideshow. Now listen, Mrs. Anderson. Come on. You've known her all her life. Whatever she did or didn't do, at least she deserves a chance to breathe a little. Now, folks, Molly's right. They got this in hand. Sonny, Upton, there's nothing you can do here. Take her down to the constable's office. Throw her murdering ass in jail. Yeah. Okay, Upton, that's enough. I think they already got a fella in there. And she doesn't exactly look like she's going to be breaking loose, now does she? Thank you, Mr. Stanhope. Oh, not a problem, Molly. Uh, have uh, Have you seen my mother? I uh, I think she's getting ready for bed. Good. Say there, Cora. It's just like camp, ain't it? We should put a bed sheet up on the wall and show cartoons. Mm. All right. 
relax, Cora. It's only the Jenny clearing her throat. There you oh, are, you see, as bright as you could ever want. Really? Cora, as friendly as ever. Go on, nurse. It'll warm you up. I don't think I'll ever be warm again. Tell me again. I told you half a dozen times already. This will be the last. I promise. She said, I think the cane with the wolf's head made me do it. I wouldn't touch it if I were you. But you didn't see a cane, with or without a wolf's head. No. Mike, what are we going to do? Wait out the storm, it's all we can do. Molly wants to see you. She told me to tell you that. She said for you to set a guard and get back to her. Said that you could have as many men as you need. None of them are doing much tonight anyway. Well, that's true. Hatch, can I see you outside a minute? Uh, just want to toss you. Be okay? Yes. What are you looking at? I'm a little teeny pot, short and stout. I'm a little teeny pot, short and stout. Here is my spot. When I get all steamed up, then I shall tip me over and pour me out. I'm a little teapot, short and stuck. He's totally crazy. It's gotta be. talk about Mike I'm leaving you in charge here for a while oh, no, no, Mike I wish you wouldn't do that just for a while I want to get these women back to the town hall where the four-wheel drive will still move then I'm gonna see that Molly's all right let her know I am give Ralphie a kiss and then I'll pack every man that looks halfway useful in the truck and bring him back here we'll guard him in groups of threes and fours till the storm's over in, in fives if that's what it takes to make you feel comfortable I won't feel comfortable until he's in Derry County Jail yeah, I know what you mean. Cat Withers. I can't believe it, Mike. Cat wouldn't hurt Billy. Yeah, I know that, too. Who's holding who prisoner here? Can you tell for sure? Oh, this is a mess. Yeah. You gonna be okay with Robbie? No, I'll have to be, won't I? Say hi to Melinda for me, if she's still up, and, uh... Tell her I'm okay. And, uh, give Pip a little kiss for me. I will. How long are you gonna be? 45 minutes, an hour at most. I'll come back with a truckload of wide bodies. In the meantime, you got Jack, Henry, Robbie, and Kirk Freeman. You think any of us are gonna make a difference if that guy decides to rock and roll? You think the town hall's any safer? Or anywhere else on the island? Considering Cat and Billy, no.
Mike, go on, we'll be fine. And tell your son, his friend from the market says hi. How do you know so much? What the hell do you want? Hatch! Why don't you pair up with someone and spend the time while I'm gone in here with him? The others can go out and be in the market and you can adjust the mirror so you can look back in. Hey, you don't want them to get all of us at the same time, do you? Well, it's a plan. Ladies, let's uh, get back to the town hall. Mike. Peter will be all right out there, won't he? Yeah. When this is over, we'll see to him proper like we always do. Come on, let's go. sit with her, like a guard. She, she doesn't need a guard, Andy. But she doesn't need a guard. What is all this? The Casper's heart is a place for a woman alone. She attracts too much attention, excites too much desire. We naturally wish to protect her from any embarrassment. Further embarrassment can very easily be avoided. She must not Honey, what's wrong? What's wrong? Let's get some stairs. Mike, I'm so scared. I am too. I can't go in there. I'm sorry, I can't, I can't take any more. Sandy. Okay. Mike, 
What's going on? Billy Soames. You're sure he's dead? Yeah. Why? Old Mrs. Stanhope is dead, too. And the ladies are... Shh. Watch the heart attack. Stop. Suicide. Uh, is, uh... Is Billy still out in the shed? Yeah. Uh, it seemed like the best place to put him. We, we covered him up. Andy. You and Sonny. Go and uh, cover up Mrs. Stanhope. Take her out. Put her with Billy. Use the back door of the meeting hall. I don't want people seeing a corpse go through there if I can avoid it. Uh, what about Jonas, her boy? Uh, I seen him downstairs just getting ready to turn in. Well, let's hope he does. His wife can tell him about it in the morning. Upton Bell. Yes, sir. I want you to go downstairs, find five or six of the men that are still up. Guys who look like they could walk through half a mile of deep snow if it comes to that without having a heart attack. Tell them to come up here. Don't tell them anything except I want to talk to them, okay? Yes, sir. to die without seeing him again. I want someone to hold my hand before I go. Robbie, where are you? Where are you? I want to see my Robbie. He said he'd be here. Oh, Robbie, where are you? I think my tones had enough of you. Now the day. You're winning as usual. Kurt, maybe a luck will change on the next hand. Mike? Is it that man? The one who picked up Ralphie at the market? It is, isn't it? Are you gonna be all right? Yeah. Side before you freeze your tail off. Come back to us. I will. Hatch! Robbie's got a gun. Robbie? I think he's gonna shoot that guy. Get away from there. Put that down! Robbie, why? Why didn't you come to me? Strangers. Don't just stand there, help! Robbie, what are you doing? Why did you leave me to die alone? Robbie! I waited for you, Robbie. I'm still waiting for you. Down in hell. I'm waiting for you. You stop. Or I'll shoot. With that? Robbie. I'll be waiting for you in hell, Robbie. And when you get there, I'm going to eat your eyes over and over. Because hell is repetition. Born in sin? Come on in.
what the hell is that? supposed to see anything in this especially of the secret sin. And tonight I'd like to remind you, say hallelujah, that sin tastes hallelujah. sweet on the lips, but sour on the tongue, and it poisons the belly of the righteous. God bless you, but can you say amen? But the secret sin, the selfish heart that says, I need not share. I could keep it all for myself and no one will ever know. Think of that, brethren. It's easy to say, oh, I can keep that dirty little secret. It's nobody's business and it won't hurt me. And then try to ignore the canker of corruption that begins to grow around it. That soul sickness that begins growing around it. Be sure your sin will find you out. And that your secrets will be known. All secrets will be known. Can you say hallelujah? Oh, brethren, can you say amen? 
For I ask you to behold the sting of sin and the price of vice. I ask you to behold the just end of those who would bar the door to the wandering stranger who comes asking so little. The so-called storm of the century is history in New England now. They're digging out everywhere except here, on Little Tall Island. A little scrap of land off the coast of Maine and home to about 400 souls, according to the last census. About half the island's population sought shelter on the mainland when it became clear this storm was really going to hit, and hit hard. But nearly all the rest, 200 men, women and young children, are gone. The exceptions are even more ominous and distressing. The United States Coast Guard has recovered four corpses so far. Two may be suicide, sources say. But the other two are almost certainly murder victims, bludgeoned to death by what was probably the same blunt object. Baffled police are asking themselves one question over and over. Where are the other residents of Little Tall Island? Where's Michael Anderson, who owned the island's market and served as Little Tall's constable? Where's 14-year-old Davy Hopewell, who was at home recovering from a bout of mononucleosis when the big one hit? Where's Robert Beals, the town manager? No one knows. There has only been one case like this before in all of American history. This is how the village of Roanoke, Virginia looked in 1587, when everyone disappeared. Every man, woman, and child. A single possible clue was found, a word carved on a tree. The word Croton. The name of a place, a misspelling, a word written in a language lost over the centuries. No one knows that either. Police continue to assure reporters that a solution will be found, but even they cannot deny one essential fact. Hope is dimming for the missing residents of Little Tall Island. Evidence suggests that most or all of the islanders spent the first and worst night of the storm here, in the basement of the Little Tall Island Town Hall. After that, no one knows. What really happened in Roanoke in 1587? And what happened here on Little Tall Island in 1989? We may never know, but I know one thing. Davy, you're too damned short to play basketball. Be sure your sin will find you out, and that your secrets will be known. All secrets will be known. Can you say hallelujah? Oh, brethren, can you say amen? For I ask you to behold the sting of sin and the price of vice. I ask you to behold the just end of those who would bar the door to the wandering stranger who comes asking so little. For the wages of lust are dust, and the wages of sin are death. For if the supplicant is turned away, and the seeker given no respite, shall not the hard-hearted be sent hence? You must be branded as one of the ungrateful. I'm sorry, we both are, aren't we, Buster? Sorry we didn't give it to you, Mr. Lamoche. Sorry we didn't give you what you wanted. You must pay. Sorry, Miss Chilinoche. Help! Daddy! No. Mom. Help! We should have given you what you wanted. Daddy! Mike? Oh, man. I just had the most awful dream. This reporter on Main Street talking about how everybody had gone. Like in this little village in Virginia a long time ago. Yeah. And no one knew where they went. And in the dream, no one knew where we went. They're all dreaming it. Do you understand? They're all dreaming what we dream. Where could 200 people disappear to? Especially on a little island cut off by a big storm. Into the ocean. 
what? Into the ocean. Mass suicide. If they don't give him what he wants. How could he? I don't know. But I believe that he can. But what does he want, Mike? What could he possibly want? Sure, we'll find out when he's ready. Lighthouse is gonna go. Never seen a storm surge like that before in my life. Folks, now, folks, if you go outside, stay close to the building. Remember, we've got whiteout conditions.
Well, she was just here. Hey, Angie! Hey, Mommy! Hey, that's all right, big guy. I bet she went back inside. This is Kingsbury! This is Kingsbury! Angie! Back inside! Everyone, back inside! Mike, what's get wrong? inside now! Stick uncle. together! Just George get back inside! Mike, go! Let's get going back on? inside! Take the boy and the wife and get inside! Go! Everyone, go! Get back in! Jack Cobb and doing quieted down some. It's just a good thing the women got the kid out of there before he cracked. There ought to be a search party made up to look for Angela and them others. If Alton Hatcher won't lead it, you could. And if the search party doesn't come back, what then? What we do? We send out another. Well, we can't just sit here. Sure we can, and that's just what we're gonna do. We're gonna sit here and we're gonna wait out this storm. And pardon me, Fred, I need a coffee. I, I, was, I was just thinking we ought to do something. Robbie! Um, why don't you kids pick up a little now, and Mr. has to bring you new things to play with, okay? I'm not gonna pick up. My dad's gonna give me a doll. Donnie. Don Beals, you come back here right now. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
That's it. Yep, should do. Let's uh No man could bind him, not even with chains. And Jesus cast out the demons into a herd of pigs that ran into the ocean and drowned themselves. But before Jesus cast the demons out, he asked their names. And the, um, the thing inside said, our name. For we are many. Thank you. 